Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Superstar Taylor Swift just destroyed her career, swings hard at Trump fans an infuriating message. OMG, quick, we have to vote Democrat now. Because Taylor Swift says so. Yes, you read that correctly, former country, now pop superstar Taylor Swift made a splash into the political arena for the first time ever last night. With a surprise endorsement of two Democrat candidates. Senate candidate Phil Bredesen and United States House of Representatives candidate Jim Cooper. Here is more via Radar Online. Taylor Swift opens a new window. Is getting political, and not everyone is on board. This Sunday, the Look What You Made Me Do singer took to Instagram to share a powerful message about the upcoming midterm elections. In it, she voiced her thoughts on racism and LGBTQ rights, topics she has rarely spoken publicly of in the past. I'm writing this post about the upcoming midterm elections on November 6, in which I'll be voting in the state of Tennessee. In the past I've been reluctant to publicly voice my political opinions, but due to several events in my life and in the world in the past two years, I feel very differently about that now," started the musician. I always have and always will cast my vote based on which candidate will protect and fight for the human rights I believe we all deserve in this country. I believe in the fight for LGBTQ rights, and that any form of discrimination based on sexual orientation or gender is wrong. I believe that the systemic racism we still see in this country towards people of color is terrifying, sickening and prevalent," she added. Swift, 28, even targeted one specific politician and urged her fans not to vote for her. I cannot vote for someone who will not be willing to fight for dignity for all Americans, no matter their skin color, gender or who they love. Running for Senate in the state of Tennessee is a woman named Marsha Blackburn. As much as I have in the past and would like to continue voting for women in office, I cannot support Marsha Blackburn. Her voting record in Congress appalls and terrifies me. She voted against equal pay for women. She voted against the reauthorization of the Violence Against Women Act, which attempts to protect women from domestic violence, stalking, and date rape. She believes businesses have a right to refuse service to gay couples. She also believes they should not have the right to marry. These are not my Tennessee values, the singer continued. Plus, she revealed who she will be voting for. I will be voting for Phil Bredesen for Senate and Jim Cooper for House of Representatives. Please, please educate yourself on the candidates running in your state and vote based on who most closely represents your values. For a lot of us, we may never find a candidate or party with whom we agree 100% on every issue, but we have to vote anyway," Swift wrote. Taylor Swift's unexpected political message comes after a spur of celebrities and important personalities chose to speak out about controversies regarding President Donald Trump opens a new window, Mail Run Hollywood and Hashtag Me Too. So many intelligent, thoughtful, self-possessed people have turned 18 in the past two years and now have the right and privilege to make their vote count. But first you need to register, which is quick and easy to do. October 9th is the last day to register to vote in the state of TN. Go to vote.org and you can find all the info. Happy voting!" Swift concluded. While Swift did her best to explain her intentions, some of her followers were very shocked by her change in tone. Taylor Swift just took the mic from Opens a New Window. Kanye, wrote a Twitter user. Can you all believe Taylor Swift ended the Republican Party on this day, tweeted another. Advertisement, story continues below. Some also accused her of being a Trump supporter while others slammed her for pretending to sympathize with the LGBTQ community. Phil Bredesen, 74, however, was very impressed with the songstress statement, and thanked her for her support. Thank you for the kind words at Taylor Swift 13. I'm honored to have your support and that of so many Tennesseans who are ready to put aside the partisan shouting and get things done. We're ready for it. Last day to register to vote is October 9th, he tweeted. The mega superstar had never before gotten political, something many actually respected her for although her music has always been like cheap bubblegum which has no staying power. Swift had faced criticism from the left for not speaking about political issues despite having a global platform. Although back in 2017, she did appear on the cover of Time magazine as one of the silence breakers for her countersuit against a radio DJ who was fired after allegedly groping her before a concert. Swift won the lawsuit in a verdict that awarded her $1. That suit was said to have served as an example to other women who may resist publicly reliving similar outrageous and humiliating acts. Swift said last night that she's not only voting for the former Tennessee governor for Senate but also Democrat Jim Cooper for the House. Although she didn't mention Bredesen's recent endorsement of Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh. 
But she did add that people may never find a candidate or party with whom they agree completely on every issue. Come on people, who are those who were taking her to task over not getting into politics? The worst part about all this is that most of the people who listen to her music, if you can even call it that, were the kids of middle America. And it's doubtful that Void will be made up in the liberal urban setting since they pretty much think her music is as bad as most of us over the age of 15 think it is. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.